My glad to see you. Someone named the Winter Soldier hacked into our network and trapped us with our own security force fields. Boy, do you look stupid. Give me ten bucks and I won't tell Nick Fury about this. Ten dollars? Are you insane? You're a hero. You're right. Make it a hundred. My tights don't come cheap. But you're supposed to save people for free. I charge stupid people. And you qualify, seeing as how you're trapped in your own living compartment. By the way, the price is up to 200. Fine, fine, I'll pay it. Just go to the security console and reboot the system. It'll take two of your team members to activate it. Watch out for traps. Ooh, I don't like traps. The price just went up to 500. All right, I'll pay whatever you want. Winter Soldier probably put laser tripwires along the way. If you walk through them, the bomb will be triggered. Uh, just to warn you, if I die, my price goes up to a thousand. Okito. <laughs> Yes. Thanks for setting us free. Being trapped in our own rooms was kind of an embarrassing situation. Good luck. Be careful. were weak at best. Winter Soldier, give up! I'm here to stop you from destroying the helicarrier engines. Captain America. Can't say it's good to see you again. You have dealt with this fool before? Oh, yeah. Cap and I go way back, don't we, buddy? Winter Soldier, please. Stop this before the helicarrier is destroyed. Thousands of lives will be lost. Sorry, no can do. I've got my orders. You of all people understand that, don't you? Orders have always been so important to you. I'll fight you if I have to. Then what are you waiting for? Let's see what you got, old man. Let's do this! Sorry, we got a little carried away, but we're on it. Lower the force fields and let's clear out of here. 
It is lucky for you we must depart. I was just getting warmed up. But we will meet again, I promise you. I told you they'd follow. They're as predictable as the sunrise. Come then, heroes. Follow us a bit further. <laughs> Here. Now you've had it. Yes. Let us see how you fare against this force. Attack! In a matter of moments, the Winter Soldier will have unlocked the security code for this gun. Then, we shall fire it into the engine. Don't you understand? You can't defeat the Masters of Evil. We're just too powerful. Abandon ship while you still can. He has a plan that will give us all enough power. To live like kings for an eternity. Quiet, Chen. You've already said too much. Ah! It does not matter. They will not live to tell anyone. Why don't we make sure of that? Now you will <laughs> Well done. Wish there was time to rest. 
got big trouble on our hands. I'm going to activate a lift nearby you. Take it, and I'll explain the situation when you arrive. Time to waste. The Masters of Evil have unleashed some huge creature that's attacking our primary engines. If it succeeds, we're all dead.
When you're done in that area, come back to the bridge. We're moving everyone to Stark Tower before we begin our next mission. Come back to the bridge, and you'll find out. Why is he always late? Hello team, welcome to Stark Tower, my pride and joy. It's 40 stories of heaven on earth. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with just a few billion dollars. We are now a team? Yes, I've been empowered by S.H.I.E.L.D. to create a task force to stop the Masters of Evil. But the helicarrier was so badly damaged that it can't be used as a headquarters. Fortunately, Tony is willing to let us stay here for the duration. It has all the facilities we'll require. Believe me, it's no problem at all. And I called in a few old friends to help us out. Feel free to walk around and meet them. I'd suggest you meet Hank Pym first, since he's in charge of equipment. The Vision is here as our information officer. Great. We got a computer to talk to the computers for us. When you're ready to go on a mission, talk to Wyatt Wingfoot. He'll take you there in one of my Quinjets. Speaking of that, what is our next mission, Colonel? I recently received a radio transmission from Dum Dum Dugan requesting that I come to the Omega base. But there was something questionable in his message. You think it might be a trap? Maybe. I can't be sure. For more information, talk to the Black Widow. Hi, my name's Colonel Hank Pym. Dr. Hank Pym. I've heard you're going to the Omega base. If you see my cybernetic helmet, could you bring it back to me? I was working on a new version of my cybernetic helmet, but then Captain America called and said you guys could use somebody with a little technical know-how. Hey, I'm glad to be helping out. Besides, I was getting bored working in a lab all day. Miss Bambi and Miss Heather are still waiting for you in the main lobby, Mr. Stark. Oh, yeah. And well, that's where I was working on my cybernetic helmet. It's a real nice facility. I didn't see a whole lot because of security. But I do know there's a team working with gamma bombs. And I think a new study is being done on the super soldier drug. Come back anytime. We're always open. Mr. Stark, there's a Greetings. My name is Vision. I will be your primary source of information concerning any persons or locales you might encounter. Unfortunately, my line to the S.H.I.E.L.D. database has a security issue. Would you retrieve a decryption module from Black Widow and bring it to me? I am glad to be of assistance. Hello, my name is Black Widow. I am second in command to Colonel Fury. Dum Dum Dugan recently sent a suspicious radio message. He requested Colonel Fury visit the Omega base immediately for an update on the Super Soldier Serum. Dugan said Dr. Banner would give the report. The odd thing being Dr. Banner is not on the Super Soldier project. Since we don't know this situation, you are to sneak aboard the base and locate Dugan. From there, we'll determine the best course of action. 
When you are ready to go, talk to Wyatt Wingfoot. He will take you in a Quinjet. My apologies. I should have given it to him as soon as we arrived. Please, take this to him. Mr. Stark, there's a you are quite welcome. Thank you for the decryption module. Now I can patch directly into the SHIELD database. The acronym stands for Strategic Hazard Intervention, Espionage and Logistics Directorate. Its primary responsibility is counterterrorism for the world. Operating under the jurisdiction of the United Nations, SHIELD is expected to deal with any threat to the security of the world's population. That designation has been used several times over the years, but it is not associated with any particular group of villains. Dr. Doom has assembled dozens of the world's most notorious supervillains not the least of which is Ultron and Baron Mordo. Victor Von Doom was raised in the tiny European country of Latveria. The untimely death of his parents made Doom vengeful towards the world. A genius, he attended Empire State University. Unfortunately, Doom performed a dangerous experiment that resulted in an explosion. As a result, Doom was expelled. Bitter, he traveled the world until he met Tibetan monks who created his first suit of armor. Doom then returned to Latveria where he overthrew the government and proclaimed himself ruler. The Black Widow was a Russian spy who defected several years ago. Upon joining S.H.I.E.L.D. she rose quickly through the ranks until she became Colonel Fury's number one operative. There is nothing on her shield record to indicate otherwise. Why do you ask? I am glad to be of assistance. 